Hello everyone and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rull here, a professional chef and a cast member of the famous baking show Bake Squad. I am a French born from south of France and came to US to live the American dream. So this YouTube channel, Rules Kitchen, was created for all of you around the world with one main goal in mind, is to share one recipe at a time and to create joy on your dining table. And if you follow Rules Kitchen, there is no reason to fail. So today, we are going to make a beautiful vanilla cream puff. Something really simple, yet super yummy. Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started! Our first things is going to be our almond strozel. The almond strozel will be on the top of our cream puff and that's what's gonna create uh, this really nice and crunchy uh, texture that you're gonna see uh, on the top. It's just enhancing the regular cream puff. So let me introduce you to our ingredients. So we have our butter, our sugar, our flour, and our almond flour. So the first ingredient we're going to add into our mixing bowl will be the butter, and the butter needs to be soft. Then our sugar, and you want to paddle it until both ingredients are well combined together. Right, so then you want to scrape the bowl a little bit. And now that uh, your butter and sugar are well combined, we're going to add the flour. And the almond flour. And then you know what next. Mix, mix, mix. So you really want to mix everything together until it's forming a nice dough, right? All right, and now it's ready. All right, so what I like to do when uh, I finish the dough, it's always finishing it by hand just to make sure everything is well combined together. Because the best tool you can ever have is your hands. Voila. All right, so I have everything ready right now. My dough, a knife, one piece of parchment paper for the bottom, one piece of parchment paper for the top, and of course, my rolling pin. So I'm going to take a little piece of the strozel over here. Voila. About half. And then I'm going to place the strozel in the middle of my parchment paper. And first, with my hands, I'm going to try to make a, a little rectangle that is pretty consistent in thickness. Then another piece of parchment paper on the top. And let's start rolling. So you don't want the strozel to be too thick, but not too thin. And when my, uh, when my strozel is uh, uh, thin enough, I will put it in the freezer. All right, now that my almond strozel is in the freezer, uh, I am going to start to make my pâte à choux. So for the pâte à choux, we have uh, six ingredients over here. We have the milk, the water, the eggs, the butter, salt, and flour. So the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to put my water inside my pot, then my milk, then the butter, and the salt. So let's start to heat it up until everything is boiling and you want to have the butter melted on the same time as the liquid is boiling. Pretty tricky, but pretty easy. 
All right, so now that uh, my uh, liquid is boiling as well as my butter, I'm going to add my flour in one shot. So you want to mix until all the ingredients are well combined, just like that. And then we want to um, go back to the heat in a, about medium heat to dry the dough for about a couple of minutes. So after a couple of minutes, my pot of choux is a little bit drier. I'm going to transfer it into my mixing bowl. And as our pot of choux is cooling down, we're going to add our eggs one at a time. So then when you don't see the smoke getting out of your dough, it's time to add the eggs. Let's check on the consistency. So now that my pata choux is ready, I'm going to set up my piping bag. So right now I have my piping bag uh, that is uh, closed and my piping tip. So the way that I like to set up my piping bag is to fold the piping bag halfway. All right, like this. And then I am going to put my tip inside and then cut the tip. I'm pushing the piping tip all the way. And the way that I like also to uh, do a little trick with my piping bag is to uh, push the plastic inside so there is no barrier that will leak as I fill it up. And then we push our batter. And our batter is ready to be piped. This recipe of cream puff, um, it's a recipe that I've been doing for probably the last 10, 15 years. This recipe will work as much at home, but also in a professional kitchen. You just have to multiply this recipe by 10, 20, 40 and then it will work for large production as well. Um, today I'm making a small batch that's going to make uh, approximately between 30 to 40 cream puff, depending how big you pipe them. So my pata choux is ready in my piping bag and I did sell up in advance uh, my uh, sheet pen over here with a seal pen. A seal pen it's uh, something that uh, uh, you can use to uh, pipe a different uh, um, cookies or uh, cream puff and uh, the good thing with this mat is there is some micro holes that will allow the heat to be distributed evenly throughout the sheet pans. So let's, uh, let's pipe our cream puff. So I just want to make sure to pipe the cream puff a little bit smaller than this diameter um, and you will understand why in a couple of minutes. Now we're going to take the crackling or the strozzle from the freezer. We are going to unmold it. So I remove my parchment paper. Then you want to let it tow out a little bit before you cut it, otherwise it's going to break. So this one is completely frozen. During this time, I'm setting up my oven at 350 Fahrenheit. And then you're taking the disc of um, crunch and you're going to put it on the top of the cream puff just like that. Voilà. Cut some disc. And then we place the crackling on the top of our cream puff. Right in the center. 
just like that. So now our shoes are ready to put in the oven. And just a little detail, the leftover of dough, we can put it back together, keep it in a freezer and we use it as needed. All the way until you use all the leftovers. All right. So now that my uh, cream puff are baking, I'm going to start to do the vanilla chantilly. So I am putting uh, a qu one quart of uh, cream in the mixing bowl. Then I have 150 grams of powder sugar. And for this, I'm going to put uh, about half a teaspoon of paste. in the cream. And if you're wondering where you can find this uh, vanilla bean, you can uh, uh, see the link down in my description. Really, really good vanilla bean. All right, and now let's whip it. Nice vanilla chantilly. Perfect. So you don't want to over whip your cream. Huh? Let's see. Mm. Vanilla whipped cream. Love it. Yeah. For the cameraman. All right. So now I'm going to have my cream inside my piping bag. Just whipped cream, powder sugar, and vanilla. That's it. And we're going to keep this in the cooler. All right, so it has been 40 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Let's check this out. And I have to be honest, we took two or three while they were baking because we wanted to make sure that the quality was here. Oh, yes. Here we go. Bon, I have a little comment. So you see when I was piping the patachou, I honestly piped the cream puff too close to each other. So what's happened? You can see the cream puff has been touching each other, which for us is not a, a really big deal. Uh, but take this in consideration. So it's really not such a big deal. However, if you don't want the cream puff to touch each other, you want to make sure to space them out enough. Today is my first day in the kitchen, so <laughs> uh, sorry, I, uh, I messed it up a little bit. But you know what? It's still going to be a beautiful and yummy cream puff. All right, so now that my cream puff are completely cool, I am going to poke a hole on the bottom. Voilà. All right, and now it's time to fill them. So you want to fill them and they need to feel heavy. Huh? So you're sure they are completely full of cream. Mmm. I want to eat them all already. Oh my gosh. Beautiful vanilla chantilly cream puff. How can you go wrong with this? It 
is a simple thing in life. Huh? And then for the finishing, we are going to sprinkle some powder sugar. And now the moment that we are all waiting for, the first bite. Mm. Wow. Crunchy, creamy, really light. I can eat all of them. And this is it everyone, this is how to make a beautiful vanilla cream puff. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell so you can be notified each and every single recipe. In Rules Kitchen, we can make brownies, we can make creme brulee and so many other recipes. Do not hesitate to uh, go check it out. It is uh, really user friendly. I do that for my own kitchen and I can guarantee that you can do the same thing. Until then, au revoir and see you next time.